All right, welcome back. <sighs> what was I gonna say? There's a lot of pressure in here. Okay, got mine. $13 smoothie, two rusty nuts, the ambulance, the welder. What does that mean? We're back on the Z today. Today is the December the 2nd, and we're at 429 subscribers. Thank you very much for that. Okay, the focus today is the Z. Well, look how I have this piece of tape in the way. Not really. All right, so if you saw our last episode, we got our cam seals installed. Uh, we still have to do the crank seal and I'm waiting on, I ordered three tools to try and get that one out. So I've got two different ones that are the one-handed type where it pries up against. And then I got another one that's basically just like this one, you know, with the two, the two forky guys, which I'm probably gonna break again, but we'll see. Okay, what do we want to do today? Um, I'm tempted to do the power steering pump. So Jared's gonna give me that pretty soon. Now, we learned on this power steering pump that there's two different, uh, two different types, okay? So let me show you in here. One type has a push-on fitting, right? They call it push-on, right? Because you push the hose on. And then the other one is a bolt-on, which this is not, right? So this has a little plastic guy and has the hose that goes up to our reservoir up here. So, without further ado, let's get to it. I need to get this, I need to get this on my mount so you guys can see a little better. You know what I mean? Uh, get this out of the light. Oh, forgot to mention. So I've got these uh, NOCO batteries that we're gonna play with. Um, so this is the, the biggest one that they have, the NLP30. And I also got some 20s I'm gonna test with. So the first test, and we're not gonna do this right now. The first test is gonna be put one of these and replace the battery in you know a z or a lexus or whatever and see how she cranks the second test if that doesn't work this should be the right size to where i can stack two of them together and still fit in that spot right there same thing with these little ones if you put all three of them together it should fit in a spot right there so we're not going to do that today i just want to let you guys know that's coming up all right on to this power steering pump okay can i even see where is it Oh, come on. Okay, okay. So, first thing we got is our pressure line. Take that guy off. All right, first try. This is a 15 sixteenths. Oh, that's not good. That's not good at all. So we just ripped off that dowel pin. Oh. So this was moving. Can we get in there? No. You don't want to pry up against this line, probably end up breaking it, so you need to put something on here. And I might have to take the pulley off and get that this bracket completely off. So irritating. All right, so this one should be 14 millimeter. Okay, now where does this bracket go? Is this all one piece? So that's half inch or 12. Go with 12. Nope, half inch. Or 13. Mm, that was loose. Did I loosen that before? Can you see? Barely. 12 here, 12 here. These are really loose. I don't know why. Oh, there's a bolt right here underneath. 
And it's loose. All these bolts are loose. Um, also, you know, if you don't use a wrench, you can line your you can line your pulley up in these holes, and you should be able to get the bolts out like that as well. Okay, now I can get to that. This stuff so I don't lose it. We're really good at that. is not big enough. All right, 15 sixteenths. Fits on that guy. Perfect. Now. Okay, let's get our pan. Well, my lower banjo washer fell off. So make sure you're gonna have two of these, one on the other side. Okay, bad thing about having a portable toolkit is you take it away and put it in places because it's portable. All right, eight mil right here. Can you see? Oh, I got it stuck. <laughs> there it goes. You got some crud in there. Clean that sucker out. Now, we should be able to slide off our hose. Come on, light. We also need to replace, probably need to re replace this hose. Did I not get this clip loose enough? I guess not. I can turn it by hand. Here we go. Um, it looks like this is pressed in, so I should be able to press that back in if I don't lose it. Oh, be this difficult, oh, but it is. All right. Okay, both our lines are off. Now let's get the pump off the vehicle. So it looks like we've got one bolt here, and da -da -da -da. that's it. Since we took off these brackets, that's all we got left. Okay, 14 mil, AKA 916. Okay, so, okay, so this has those, I think it has those wedges, maybe not. Let's tap it. Probably gonna have to pry this out. There she goes. All right, so we don't have the new pump yet, but here's the old one, and okay. So I'm hoping that this is the push on part and they're not saying that this is a bolt on, but when Jared gets me that, uh, he's gonna order the pump from O'Reilly's, I'm just gonna go pick it up. So when he gets that to me, I will have it. Now since we got everything out this far, I'm thinking we should go ahead and pull this alternator off. We have all these contraptions going on here with the bracket. I might have to pull those off to clean it anyway. So this bracket is bolted on here and here, it looks like. Let's go ahead and take that off. Let's see if this will give you a better a better view. Uh, 14 mil it looks like. Yep. It's too loose for a ratchet, but not loose enough for my fingers. And then we'll stick these guys back in here. That's out. Um, I'll go ahead and throw this in the parts washer. Looks like we need a washer right here. That's missing. And then we'll paint these. All right, alternator. So we have our adjusting nut right there. I wonder why I took that out. And then we just have the power plug. So I want to pull 
I'm gonna pull this bolt out right here, get the alternator out, and hopefully that gives me enough room to get to the uh, power on the back, the back side. So that looks like a 16. Probably a 17. 16 is not really common. Seventeen. Man, that's loose. Did I loosen that before? Oh, does this have a nut on the back? There's supposed to be a nut on the back, and there's not. Okay, power steering, right here. Okay, alternator, right here. All right, so that's completely out. So we should be able to just rock this thing right out of there. Okay. And if you were doing this on the car, you would do it from underneath. Like if all this was already put together, you just do it from underneath. It's easier. All right, how much play do we have back here? A little bit. So. Let's get you zoomed in here. So you got a plug there on the left. You got your power stud on the the left as well and then you have your ground on your right so i'm going to unplug the plug first so push that in and then pull the plug out okay see that hopefully now we have access to the main power wire and i already have the battery disconnected so i don't have to worry about arcing anything out Looks like 10 or 12. Looks like a 10. And we're probably going to upgrade this alternator power wire. Okay, I need a socket. Uh oh. We're twisting the whole thing. Okay, so put pressure on the wire. Oh, there it goes. Pull the wire off. Put your nut back on. And now all we have left is the ground. And the ground's a Phillips, which sometimes these come off easy. A lot of times they don't. Let's see how easy this is. First, we'll just use a regular hand screwdriver. Not easy. Okay, all right, this should be number two Phillips. Oh, that's a number three. Well, that's why. Number two is a bit chewed up. Let's try it with the ratchet first. Okay, we need to beat that in there. So it's seated good. Uh, this is not, this is not coming, sir. All right, let's try and tap that wire over and see if we can loosen it. Yeah, if you had to take this wire out from underneath the car, that's going to suck. Do we move it at all? I don't think so. I think we're just bending it. I hate you. I hate you. Hate me today. We are going to try our impact, but I'm not making any promises. Worst case scenario, we just cut it. Right, when we get the new alternator, we'll put a new one on. Try and get as much pressure as you can. Nope, it's not coming off. All right, forget it, we're cutting it. And then I'll just have to put a new terminal and everything on the new one, which is no, no big deal. Might extend that wire just a little bit too. Okay, Ugh. here's our alternator. Look how beautiful it is. And it sounds like there's stuff running around in there. So we'll clean, take this bracket off, clean it up. Looks like all our hardware's on this one. Put our washer back, put our nut back. Ah, gotcha. Okay, I'll throw this in the park washer. Okay, is there any numbers on this thing that you guys might possibly need? I don't see any. I don't see any identifying marks on here besides the plug. All right. Okay, um, uh, 
Uh, that's gonna wrap it up for today. Since I missed yesterday, this was a uh, dual episode. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching.